In yesterday's video, I introduced a concept called the curse of knowledge. I just gave a quick explanation of it, but I'd like to go a little deeper today so you can understand it. Why? Because if you are experiencing the curse of knowledge, you could be disconnecting from your audiences and not even know it. I first read about this concept years ago in a book called Made to Stick. It's one of the best books ever written on communication. I highly recommend it. There's a link below this video if you want to pick up the book from Amazon. Here's the essence of the problem created by the curse of knowledge. This is when you know a topic well, extremely well. So well, in fact, that you think other people know it because you do. And that's where communication problems come in. I'm going to tap out the name of a well-known song. It's well-known probably in most parts of the world, but especially in the United States. See if you can guess what the name of the song is. What was that song? When I ask this question in workshops and seminars, the answer I usually get is incorrect. People usually say, oh, that's happy birthday to you. It's not. Let me play it again. Still don't know what it is? It is the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of the United States. Why couldn't you guess it? Unless you got it right, congratulations. Most people, I mean, 99.5% guess happy birthday to you. Why? Because as I played the song, Oh, say can you see by the dawn, I could hear the song in my head. I'm really sorry about that singing. I won't do it again, at least in this video, I promise. So I could hear the song in my head, but you couldn't. I didn't give you context other than to say it's a well-known song, especially in the United States. Well, there may be a million, I'm not exaggerating, a million well-known songs in the United States. I didn't narrow it down enough for you. So as I was playing the song, I could hear it. And when I do this example in workshops, I do a little acting and I act like I'm kind of disgusted with the audience, almost to the point where I'm insulting them, saying, are you stupid? Why aren't you getting this? Now, I quickly tell them, no, you're not, it's just an example, I don't think you're stupid, but I'm trying to convey the point to them that sometimes we talk to others and hopefully never to an audience as if they're kind of dumb because they're not getting what we say when we, in fact, are the problem. We have the curse of knowledge. We hear it in our heads. We assume that the audience gets it because we know it. They don't. We have to make sure we break it down to give them context so they understand exactly what we're talking about. This happens a lot more often than you would think. So as you are practicing your, your presentations and getting feedback, ask the audience, is there anything here that's not clear? If so, it's your job and mine as speakers to break it down, not to dumb it down, but to make sure there's a clear explanation of what we're talking about so they don't get caught, like we talked about in the last video, thinking about a point and going off on a sidetrack and missing the rest of your presentation. So don't suffer from the curse of knowledge and your audiences will be singing your praises. Fortunately for you, I won't be singing anymore in this video. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.